Hello everyone and welcome to another hashtag trending with me Ali Reza. Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest serving monarch, died at the age of 96 on Thursday after reigning for 70 years. Aside from expressions of grief, the monarch's death revived criticism of her legacy, a legacy of colonialism and oppression. <laughs> Upon the Queen's death, her eldest son and heir to the throne, Prince Charles, became king amidst all the public relations headaches and scandals that has gripped him, including uh, infidelity in his ex-marriage, financial corruption, racism and political interference. <laughs> Many on Twitter remembered the Queen as a symbol of the British colonial empire which worked through the decades to enrich itself through violence, theft and oppression of other nations. Some also listed a number of criminal wrongdoings of Britain under the rule of the late Queen as a response to one of Press TV's tweets which you will find here. It's written, here are some of the crimes committed by the UK during the 70 year rule of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, you can watch the you can see the original tweet on Twitter but I'll just uh, read a couple of them for you here. So for example in 2003, chemical attack against Iraq by British forces, more recently in for example, 2011, uh, role in Syria crisis, and even more recently in 2015, support for Saudi Arabia's crimes in Yemen. Uh, Mirka replied to this tweet by saying, UK's monarch signs off on legislation. Some of those matters would have crossed her desk. UK's involvement is with NATO, and they're both equally responsible for harm to various parts of the world. Current UK involvement in war against Russia is also deeply abhorrent. Another reply by Ina Badar reads that this list is incomplete. I'll add two FYI. One, expelling Mauritius natives from Diego Garcia Island and giving it to the US Army. And two, UK destabilizing actions in Somalia. Another reply by Kalai Vendan reads, 2009 UK helped to Sri Lankan genocide on Tamils, which killed 0.15 million people. The monarchy came under fire on Twitter uh, by nationals of other countries from all over the world besides the British, which the UK subjected to or still subjects to colonialism and imperialism. You know, the list is so long that we're honestly unable to name all of them in this edition. So let's take a look at some tweets, our final batch. Lord Abraham Mutai said, let's be honest, Britain violently colonized Africa. They brutally murdered our ancestors. They brutalized our mothers and fathers. That's that is the true legacy of Queen Elizabeth as far as Africa is concerned. That we are hanging on to the Commonwealth years later is a travesty. Davande has our next tweet. England killed 9 million Iranians, half of the population, 100 years ago and destroyed a large part of Iran. He's referring to the World War I years. Uh, Elizabeth, in her 77 years of rule, not only did not apologize and compensate, but also continued the crimes of England against our country. Subham Sahu has our next tweet. In nearly 200 years of genocidal colonialism, the British Empire stole $45 trillion in wealth from India, 17 times more than UK GDP, killing millions. The UK monarchy, Queen Elizabeth, the royal family are simply symbols of murder, exploitation and theft. Michel Malik, Maliketo Malanga has our final tweet. What sort of a queen commits crimes against humanity and gets away with it? She did this not only in Africa and the Caribbeans, but India, Yemen and Pakistan as part of her duties. Are we going to be silent about that? <laughs> And that's a wrap for this edition of Hashtag Trending. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.